This is Keepsakes, the podcast. I'm Jay Agonoy. It's episode 38 of the podcast. Thank you as always for listening. And we have a special guest today uh, on this podcast, on this episode. But before we proceed to that, ano, mention ko lang yung mga pupuntahan natin mga events. Keepsakes, the podcast. Actually, I recorded this on a Saturday of the 23rd. 20, yeah, 23rd, which means it's Cosplay Carnival Day 1. And after this recording, I'll be there at SMX Manila. And probably by the time you hear this, siguro na na ako sa SMX. Because, uh, uh, it, I'll, uh, of course, I'll make this fast. But uh, I don't know with this because, again, it's a very special episode. And hindi ko alam kung ilang oras kami tatagal dito. <laughs> Ayan. And our guest is laughing as well. And, uh, okay, aside from Cosplay Carnival, we have the Ozine Fest. Uh, which is April 6 at SM Mega Trade Hall. I'll be mostly there. Uh, it's also coinciding with the MNL48 Living the Dream concert at the New Frontier Theater, aka the former Kia Theater. Well, the reason naman kung bakit na balik siya sa New Frontier is because it's actually the New Frontier Theater. Kia just sponsored the theater uh, at the time it was Kia Theater. So, setting that aside, uh, April 6, MNL48 concert. And April 6 as well, Ozine Fest 2019, with the theme of school festivals. So, my jail boot dito. So, mga gusto nyo ikolong dyan, kolong nyo na. Uh, April 7 is the Jedo Ega Matsuri of Jedo Ega PH. And I'll be there as well. Uh, performances by Session Kakame. And uh, yun, yun so far, ano? Uh, May. May is Pinoy Otako Festival. As always, continue to vote Cave 6 as the... Uh, media uh, media of your choice in the Pinoy Otaku Festival Otaku Choice Awards 2019 and I, we look forward to see, see you there in these events. Of course, after Pinoy Otaku Festival, there's uh, or before the uh, Pinoy Otaku Festival rather, there's the Idol Fiesta Volume 1 of Do It For The Idols and Dara Demo Sekai at the Roxy Events Place. I'll be there as well. Mga indie idols to. This is more more of an... Uh, an I, I, I can't consider this as another bunch, but this is more of an uh, upgraded bunch because this uh, here, event right here, is something unique. Something na... Of course, if you uh, if some of you experience the idol experience in Japan, the Bupan, the uh, Cheki, the Off-Kai, siguro Off-Kai, pwede rin. Off-Kai, off-site kainan, rather. <laughs> uh, you'll be experiencing it there too. So, uh, see you there. And, of course, June is Toycon month. And I'll be very busy at that time. So maybe magpahinga mo ng keepsakes after all this Eminem 40 tabakal after Pinoy Otaka Festival to focus on the Toycon. Because uh, just to disclaim, of course, I'm with Team Toycon. And nowadays I have a... Un unlike last the, the last few years na standard lang yung scope ko, no? may dadagdag na scope sa akin. So good luck to me and all the best for us. So, with that said, we will now begin with our podcast number 38. Keepsakes, the podcast. Again, it's the first year since the podcast has started, it's been launched, and uh, since we're going to talk about ML48, of course, uh, ito, ito talaga, I never expected uh, someone uh, like this guest because he is now uh, sitting in as the lead uh, writer or the editor for pop culture events of pactogaming.com and he is authoring the MNL48 weekly series on Back to Gaming. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to this podcast, Mr. Stan Galupo. Good evening. Good evening, Jay, and good evening to everyone listening to this podcast. Uh, I am Stan Galupo, Galupo a writer uh, for Back to Gaming and um, I've been covering MNL48 since 2016. When they're just like, uh, uh, how how do you say this? They're like they're, they're like you're just being formed, and then the the first uh the first edition was announced, and then you know the, the year long wait, and then everything. So um, here I am. I'm happy to uh, to guest here uh, because Jay is my predecessor in back to gaming. So uh, there's uh, some sort of continuity happening here, and um, let's go. Let's talk. Yeah, all right. So uh, about the uh, continuity sa Back to Gaming. Yes, I wrote for Back to Gaming, pero di niya makikita ang pangalan ko diyan. Just guess who it is. 
Uh, and it's fine, it's fine. Kasi Back to Gaming's been a legacy. Uh, I, I just uh, I just happened to see Boss Makas Makabundo. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. I have to see. I have to imagine that. <laughs> I, I don't know, Joe, about Mike Abundo, but well, I, I imagine Makabundo right there. <laughs> what happened to the guy? So sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, I used to be um, like Jay. Um, I used well, to be active in the uh, old um, pop culture scene. Um, the time when Alodia was just starting, and all these white knights and haters are are doing their thing. That's what. Mm. what about, uh, that is that twelve years ago, I mm. think. Is that twelve years ago? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, uh, they, they stay... Yeah, yeah, may uh, probably like that. Kasi nag-start ako dito sa, sa community around yeah, 2010. J Idol community na yan. 2009, that's, 2009. That's like the second second generation na yata yan ng mga ganitong bagay. But yeah, during during the time J and I were, we were active, cosplay was what? It's just starting, right? It wasn't it wasn't as big. Yeah. Yeah, then, Yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually. <laughs> Ayun. Mm, I, I really miss. Oh, yeah. Of course, everybody missed those days. Oh, yeah. na, uh, your cosplay for just fun. <laughs> uh, your uh, costripping was a word. Yeah, yeah costripping is still a word, yun. Pero it's now replaced oh. by the term photo shoots. Or so I or so I think. Pero na, maybe that's my hunch. Yeah. Pero don't don't rely to me, eh? mm. Pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. Ayan. Pero of course, you can talk to everybody in the cosplay community. Even even those who have uh, stayed in the community for so long. I've stayed for like, this is my 10th uh, year as a hobbyist, 2019. So 2019 really is uh, an important year for me. Kasi it's, uh, my first event was Anime Overload Festival 2009. I, I, don't, I don't know if you've uh, uh, reached possibly that. Possibly around the time SMX. I medyo nag na ako, um with going to cosplay events um it used to be that going to those events are fun because hey, like, like the crowd was still small there's still a lot of um cool stuff being sold and then cosplayers are everywhere now because hey, you know you're you're walking in a, in a costume not me uh them the cosplayers and it's big and bulky and then i don't mean because mm-hmm. everyone goes to these cons these days so Back then, ang ang dali mm-hmm. and hindi pa siya ganun ka sunod-sunod. Ngayon, every almost what every month, <laughs> every month, every month. And I, as for me, I can no longer live a month yeah. without seeing <laughs> eh, people yeah, in cosplay. Be, in my case, that used to be really really fun. I say, wow, they're doing something. I you won't Mm-mm. catch me there doing so i'm not going to wear a costume and i'm not going to cosplay mm-hmm. but i like i love seeing them i love seeing young alodia the young ashley uh a lot a lot back then so um yeah those were the days toycon was actually still about toys back then so there was no artist yet there's no um uh what the mga artist guests nila na hindi naman connected sa toys so Back then, it was all about toys. Just a mega trade, lang tayo. So, <laughs> those were the days. So those, mm-hmm. those were the days. But uh, hey, Toycon is still Toycon, mm-hmm. and we have a lot of major events right now, like yeah. Asia Pop, um, Cosme. I haven't been. Yeah, yeah. I, it's Best a New anime. Year's resolution for me yeah. to to go back to Cosme. I haven't been in Cosme for almost a decade. I think. I haven't been there. Whoa. Yeah, I haven't Holy been there, there for almost a decade. Kasi, uh, uh, probably this will tie in later than sa, ano natin, sa discussion natin. There was a time as I was really tired of everything that was happening in, in the pop culture world back then. So, we we, we can draw <laughs> mm-hmm. parallels totoo, then, totoo. with what is happening today. Except that, you know, back then, um, the mm. thing was uh, that the hobby was getting bigger. And then the stakes are getting higher because mm. may mga may mga uh, prices na that is what ang lumalaki na yung prices sa mga yeah. cos- cosplay event. It used to be for fun lang before, and then you know the stakes are higher and people are getting jobs, uh, modeling jobs uh, out of cosplay, and and you know it, it was. And cosplay is now a stepping to stone yes, to yes, stardom. I mean, <laughs> ah, you, God. We all know how big Alodia was. We know. We all know how Myrtle used yes. her cosplay card to, you know, um, get ahead of uh, others in PBB, and then, and then there were so many others. So, <laughs> so they, uh, okay. So, yeah. Oh God. Oh God. Yeah, this will be is. a long discussion. 
This will be a long discussion. Tito Stan, welcome <laughs> back to the club. Oh uh, yeah, it's it's uh it was a it, it was a tentative step. La talaga, uh, back in 2015 when I decided to cover Cool Japan Festival. And uh sabi ko, do I really mm-hmm. want this again? Hindi <laughs> una kong tinanong eh. Kasi I I I at up to that time I'm just writing, I'm doing my thing, writing about games, writing about toys, writing about um pop culture mm-hmm. without actually going mm-hmm. to those events. I said, "Ko nakakapagod, nakaka-toxic." And said, "Ko I really don't want that shit in my life." So, uh and then said, mm-hmm. uh, "Okay, MNL48 uh is being rumored." So that's co- co- uh mm-hmm. uh okay, a cool cool Japan festival. That was 2015. And I was saying, I was talking to mm-hmm. Bosna. He said, can this be a thing? Because we were both idol fans uh, for Morning Musume, right? Is this Morning Musume? Ah, kal- but nowadays, Boss Mac is too uh, oh, into yeah. stunts uh, to you, di ba? K-pop shop. But, like, like, Boss Mac naman kasi, is, <laughs> hindi naman siya yung parang one side or the other. I mean, niso pa nag, kapag free kasi, he's very mm-hmm. busy right now. Pag free naman kami, nakapag, nakapag kwento yeah, kami. Yeah, very busy. Sorry, like, um, compare notes. Uh, Kasi, uh, he still loves din naman yung, yung mga old idols and, and stuff. And then, you know, he said, he told me mm-hmm. na, sige ko, ano, cover mo, AKB48, yeah, MNL48, it might be your thing. And sabi ko, yeah, that time, I wasn't yet an AKB mm-hmm. fan. Morning Musub may fan pa ako. Yun yung, uh, Sino, sino, sino Oshima sa uh, 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 Oshima na had uh, in Morning Musub may, ninth generation, Saya Shiriko. Siriho Saishi, Sirio Riho. So um before that I did mm. I like Gotomaki. Um uh, kasi si sikat noon. Mm. So yeah, I wasn't yet very sophisticated in my choice of instruments. Was si ni sikat, so sige it's Gotomaki. And then uh I'm not really aba, hindi ako maka Takahashi ay it's more on I'm more on Tanaka Reina actually <laughs> mas mas maano ako sa kanya mm. and then uh yeah say si Riho then I think that was a week before na nag-announce siya ng graduation she's graduating for Morning Musume and here I am oh. yeah and here is oh. uh AKB48 like knocking on my door kasi I as an idol fan you mm. nakikita mo naman kung paano sila na ng AKB48 uh, as national idols, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, I, I mean, mm-hmm. in, yeah. I, I'm on the side na parang, uh, be, ano, ang sama ni love ko, yung mga friends kong dating born in Musume, AKB na, ganun. So, parang, alay, nawala yung mga, ano, yung com- malit na nga yung community namin, lalo pa lumiit. <laughs> and then, uh, mm-hmm. but I, I was watching um, a lot of their material kasi I wanted to like them. I wanted to really, really like them. And, you know, I've been watching Majiska Gakuen, um, all the series except for the third one, because I kind of hated the third one. And then, you know, you're watching yung mga guest mm. nila sa mga shows, sa mga pranks sa kanila. And, you know, just, just continually mm. watching them. And then, get an appreciation. Nagkakaroon ako ng appreciation for them, for the group. And then, ito nga, in-announce ML48. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, my very first article about the ML48 was when there was nothing more than rumors, uh, which is, ang type mm-hmm. niya is a new thing so on ML48 and why you should give it a chance. And that was 2015. Yeah. 2015. Ayun, um, sige, cut muna kita dyan. Uh, uh, I think I forgot to answer the question about Mike Abundo. One, uh, his record, about, he, he has a full attendance record on every iBlog. This two years ago, I guess, nahinto na yun eh, because he's committed to work. I believe he's oh. in Singapore? And uh, nowadays, he's, he's into blockchain or fintech. So, yeah, we leave it, we leave the, ano, we leave it, we leave it to him. Uh, uh, that's uh, uh, that's one I what I call oh, yeah. no longer it, it, a matter. <laughs> uh, we let we let Mike well, Abundo be Mike Abundo. In, 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 in many respects, we <laughs> all move on eventually. Yeah. Yes. From his Jabra, Jabra Bluetooth wireless. I don't know if it's Jabra, no. A Bluetooth <laughs> headset, and all that, and the uh, open talk, and you know the who, who, what the happened. So, you know, uh, uh, on the other hand, of course, we bo- go back mm-hmm. to. Sinagwe ko lang si Mike talaga, you know. We go back to idols. The first 
instance that I got introduced to Idol was actually to Gamer Totoy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ayari yeah. Suzuki, Ayari Suzuki. Bono. Been... Jesus, Gamer Totoy. That's like... Ay, di ba nagpa-flood yung memories? <laughs> It was... Flood <laughs> 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 yung memories. But you know what? Oh, as, as offensive as some of his posts are, yung ibang posts niya napaka-informative eh. So I, I may theory pa ako na there was oh, oh, there was oh, oh. A, dapat parang there was like two people using the same the same handle or parang na, na minaipasa siya sa iba or something kasi nagiba yung ano eh nagiba yung tone mm. ng writings it used to be na napaka hmm? mm. don't forget sin realm don't forget sin sin realm <laughs> don't forget sin yeah, realm but, <laughs> si gamer toto yung tumatak sa akin eh <laughs> then, oh 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 Yung, yung, yung time na when when all of the remote introduced me to gamer toto I used to be like oh my god oh my god oh my god no oh my god no I thought cosplay was all fun and stuff <laughs> and then eventually of course with all the things that has happened the feeling ko enlightened na ako elitista na ako oh my god what is happening to me <laughs> Man, it's you, uh, naman elitista it's just that you you you've seen stuff mm-hmm. that people talk about mm-hmm. siguro parang le- para sa kanila legend na yun and um, they hear about this mm-hmm. uh, event or, or this happened back, way back then and urban legend na siya and, and you just happen to mm-hmm. be there <laughs> hmm. that is solid Alodja ako ha? that is solid Alodja yeah, ako uh, Alodja and uh, Ashley mm-hmm. I, I, I'm even uh, I, I think I'm even Facebook friends with Alodja's oh, mom uh, I I, I need to check again. I need to check again. Kasi that was, oh. those are the times, eh. Uh, I, uh, well, I, 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 use, I still use the same Facebook account, so yeah, I, I'll check I, later. I, I think, <laughs> ano, hindi naman yung mom niya. But, um, siguro back in the day, kasi approachable pa si Alodia, wala pa yung, wala pa yung mga cards mm-hmm. and everything. Um, I think, naging yeah. Yahoo Messenger contact ko siya, and we, we talk, uh, we, we talk when, when we were both online. Parang ganun, parang kukwentuhan kami, and then, Siguro the most I got was I got her cell phone number I think and uh no, no nothing to me well mm. hindi, hindi naman ako nang liga or something parang I'm still a fan and uh hmm. she entrusted yeah uh, and she, still a fan, she entrusted yeah. me with with that info and stuff and then you know parang naging she became unreachable kasi as you go grow in fame diba mm. you also parang bombarded with a lot yeah. of hate and she has to be protected Um, she yeah. has to go under a system yes. and all that. So, parang medyo nawala yung connection. And then, I... I met Boss Mac. <laughs> hey, uh, 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 but... Uh, uh, here's one thing. Aloji became idol for once. Yeah, she did. Actually, people for, forget... I, I yeah. don't... Well, people forget people that. Forget or probably that. <laughs> they're trying to forget that. <laughs> Why? Um, Why? Uh, well... I won't say that it was it, it was an experiment din naman. It was, Elodia just wanted to try. Yeah, yeah. It's just that hindi... Yeah. How, how can I say this? Uh, I still remember the visuals of the first music video that I saw with her and two other uh, cosplayers. I, I forgot, forgot the names. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, di ba? Nobody <laughs> remembers the group yes. because oh. everybody remembers Elodia lang. And it's it, and it's just yes. a small footnote to history in Alodia that people don't necessarily have to go back to that episode. Na ay naging idol siya for uh, I think a uh, mm. short time. And siguro ako kasi yung music hindi mm. nagapil sa akin, di ba? Parang uh, oh mm. yeah, it's Alodia. It has good. Uh, it has a good MV. But the music is like um, mm. okay. It's parang it's not. Mm-mm. Sabi ko, well, you know, maraming klase ng mga idol music sa Japan. I would say that this is probably one of Mm-mm. those that I haven't heard yet. <laughs> ko. And, uh, mm. and, and mm. yeah, and then I sort of like, for kasi around that time na nilalis niya yun, wala na rin talaga ako sa scene. I'm sort of, I'm just focusing on my day job and, and, and stuff. So, uh, ayun, and then I never heard about it again. So it's probably something they don't talk about even in, uh, even in dinner. So, mm. you know, in the <laughs> Gosei Fea household, parang they, they sort of hear the word idol and no one's, no one's talking, just looking at each other. Okay. Kasi no <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ngayon But, na yung mga bagay niyan. I, I don't know why. Why is, why is it happening to me right now? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. yeah mm. Well, we've seen, we've seen so much stuff there, Makasi. Yeah. So, yeah. And yeah. we 
right now, a lot yeah, of yeah. things are happening. Mm-mm. You you for you forget sometimes what happened before. Mm-mm. And uh yun, it means na nakakalimutan natin. We can learn a lot of things about what happened ano, about things that happened before. Mm-mm. Uh in the, with the things that are happening now. So uh, ayun. <laughs> ayun. Uh, speaking of which, uh, I, I know you have a photo with Alodia before, right? Photo? Yeah. Uh, with Alodia. Yeah. Do I? Because <laughs> I really hid before. I really mm. hid before. Hindi ako nagpapakita Mm-mm. sa mga ganon. Kasi super conscious ako. Kasi si dude ang ganda ni Alodia at ni Ashley in person, oh, right? Oh. So parang yung insecurities mo umaangat eh. So mm. parang kapag hindi ka na, na ano, hindi ka na introduce Mm-hmm. You sort of like, parang you will, kasi I remember this one time sa Rockwell, may, parang naging amb- brand ambassador sila ng White Hat, yung yogurt. Yeah. Kasi, I was there actually, I was there, and they had this little, yung cosplay circle yata nila na group, they had this yeah, little yeah. event there. Yeah. That that generally devolved, eh, well, it wasn't really run very well. Kasi nung dumating si Elodia, nakalimutan na ng tao lahat ng iba cosplayer. Elodia Ow. lang sila talaga. Ow. And then, yeah. <laughs> and then, yun, yun nga, yung ano, naging brand ambassador sila ng white hat. So, alin nga, nag, nag ano sila ni Ashley ng yogurt at si Bibigay nila sa customer. So, I was one of those customers. And I don't think Elodia ever really knew uh, what I looked like. Or maybe she did sa, sa Facebook. Hmm. But, uh, what the heck, wait, Facebook and Friendster kasi Friendster pa no? Yeah, Friendster. Okay. Yeah. I'm, that, oh, yeah. I'm that old. I'm so sorry. I'm that old. Uh, so, no worries. <laughs> do you use OG layouts? Mark Loreto? Mark is Trigger? <laughs> I use like, Mark is Trigger. And, and then, may, yung kung pagpupunta ka sa profile, may tugtog. Oo. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I hated that. Kasi you know what? <laughs> yung yung sa, well, sa college namin, um, uh, we're not supposed to go to those sites. Wala, wala dapat sa friends, sir. Uh-oh. But, you know, pag you suddenly click on a profile, hmm. it just so happens to have music. Hmm. And it, uh, na-broadcast sa buong class na, okay, I'm accessing friends, sir, right now. Oof. <laughs> I, mean, I hated that. So, I mean, anime, ayun. So, uh, I don't think I had a picture with Alodia. Hmm. See, I, I did not, hindi ako nagkaroon ng sufficient confidence to, to go. Pero parang, parang ano eh, um, I don't know if Alodia remembers this, pero parang, nag-text ako sa kanya after that Rockwell event, sabi ko, yeah, I was there. Parang, hindi ka nagpakilala. <laughs> sabi sa akin. <laughs> <laughs> hindi ka nagpakilala. Sabi ko, mm. well, I, you know, ang daming taong nakapilo sa likod. Yung mga ganun. So, and then, you know, it, no, I think uh, after that, binati ko siya kasi nag-birthday siya ng March. Mm. Then, Kaya lang birthday niya ngayon? He sort of Kaka-birthday lang niya, di ba? Uh, nine, I guess. Ah, o nga pala. No? That's, why you, that's why her username is Alodia9. Alodia9. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kasi, March 9 siya pinanganak. And, why uh, do I know this? Why? Why? <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm sort of, uh, nabubuhay ko yung hidden, uh, yung long-suppressed white knight sa, <laughs> ano, sa iyo. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I actually, I was an actually somehow a white knight for once until I got enlightened by Gamer Totoy. Pero that's the, that's the thing about the, ano eh, the, this community, ano. Uh, this is Tito Times. Really, Tito <laughs> Times. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, you know, we're 20-somethings, 30-somethings, I'm 20-something, yes. Uh, yeah, been uh ngayon ko lang for the first siguro for the first time I've fully realized uh uh yung parang I I'm, I'm I'm really ready for this because prior to this discussion, prior to inviting Stan into this podcast, I've been talking about MNL for take before and this whole week around after the Pag-ibig Fortune Cookie Handshake, I've been talking to Stan for two, three times. Four times. Four times, actually. Four, four times. times. Four times. <laughs> yeah, really? I, I, yeah. I, 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 God. I, I was too young at that uh, at that time. Yung photo ni Alojo sa Ozzy. I, I posted it on the site uh, prior to na. Kasi wala nang Ozzy made cafe ngayon eh. The maid cafe. Uh, uh, yeah, wala nang Ozzy made cafe ngayon eh. The maid cafe that you'll see, go to Cebu. There are two. <laughs> I went to yeah, one. Yeah, cafes. I used to like them. Uh, mm. Yung uh, Doki Tassen. Do- Do- yeah, yeah, we forgot mm. the name again. The so, Doki Satan yeah, then, Cafe. Ano? I, where is that, cafe. by the way? Where is that? Uh, no, I think they, they go to events. But I think they're they're sort of... I, 
are they the Athenians? I think they, they're the Athenians. So more in campus to, no? The Dokis Athen, no? Um, not, yeah, right. mm. And they were, they were probably the mo- the best that I had, uh, the best experience I had of main cafe in the Philippines hmm. because they knew what they were doing. Uh, uh, well, I can't say in, about the Cebu because I didn't even know about the Cebu. Yeah, very good. No, yeah, just segue. Kolang yeah, wag show. Yeah, segue. Kolang watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi sa full place, yung isang week cafe na puntahan ko doon, just recently opened, uh, I think the feature ko na yun before in, on Keepsakes, is Moy Moy Kyun, restaurant siya, mm-hmm. pero ang concept niya talaga, made cafe. It's a full-fledged made cafe. They even have this entertainment oh. and stuff. So, yeah, Moy Moy Kyun pa lang eh. Alam oh, na. Alam na. <laughs> alam na. Ayan, ayan. Say and, hi to manager son. Yes. <laughs> and then, uh, 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 what are you guys, uh, Yeah, yung Doki Tassin, they were probably the best if you wanted yung, yung experience. They were close. I can say they're 100% accurate. Mm. Kasi I've never been uh, to an actual main cafe, cafe in Japan. But, but diba, if, when you see them in documentaries and shows and stuff, they're probably the, the closest. Kasi they knew what they were doing. Mm. Some main cafes, kasi they, so they cute and then they do the, the they go through the motions. But They don't really know what they're doing. Parang ay, parang mikulang. Mm. But uh, that one I remember. Talagang ano eh? Talagang alam mo yun yung parang kahit in spite of yourself, talagang parang yung napupuno ka ng sugar sa katawan niya. Mm. And then stuff. Parang iba. You see a big. Guy. Well, I was still young back then, so mm. hindi ko man sabing old. Pero I was already big. And then you see this guy na parang parang yeah okay yeah no uh, ano ba uh, moe moe kyun ah uh, I wish and, I was uh, there <laughs> yeah but and, you know parang right now when I think about it sabi ko what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> what the hell am I doing but back then tonto ako and mm. then you know I sort of left the scene and then everyone suddenly disappeared mm-hmm. ang future so, and, yeah uh, mm, sige go go sorry sorry yeah, yeah, okay if if anyone listening to this podcast, medyo nagtataka sila, what was my handle back la- back then? It was Questorminator. Oh. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a name I just came up, uh, but I wasn't the first to use that name. Parang, may, uh, a friend used that handle and then pinamana sa akin. So, oh. sige, yeah, sige, akin na. Then I realized ito, marami pala siyang kaaway. In Oof. Website, I think. <laughs> <laughs> parang, okay, why, why am I receiving this? <laughs> <laughs> But, oh, okay. So yeah, that was that was before I understood about data privacy and confidentiality when it comes to your uh, internet account. So mm-hmm. I never did that again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, 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 and and yeah, I was co terminator and I was um talagang kampiyaho kay Elodie before and mm-hmm. then ayun, I wasn't wasn't really well known. Pero isa ako doon sa mga madalas mag-comment sa kanya na na ano, na probably yung mga haters, hello, dyan, visit to visit sa akin. So, <laughs> hindi ako nang, hindi ako nang to troll. But it's sort of like, parang makiki, ano lang ako, nakikigulo talaga ako. So, mm. so you're trying um, to be Ben Shapiro yeah. where you fight with facts and logic. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I think. So at least that time, yun yung, I, I believe that those were facts that I was sharing. So, mm. uh, pero it was at that time that I realized na you know what you kasi I well, I met Boss Matthew I love the haters club the AHC and stuff like that. and then I realized you know they were good people they're like they're, they're kind people mm. and then uh, parang yung AHC actually started as a joke I mean the way I remember it parang it was supposed to be a joke and then someone sort of saw it And then ni report do sa atin. So tayo naman dikuyog naman tayo do sa amin nila. Na parang oh, okay, he was it was supposed to be like it's a joke, man. It's a, it's a, it was a joke. And then parang na seryoso nila. Pero the, I was fortunate enough to know uh to to know boss na. He's a really really great guy. Mm. And uh, he's the reason why I'm I'm writing right now kasi I like I was There was one time I was writing like fanfics of Gundam and stuff, and then I keep sending it to him. And he said, "You know what? You're a good writer. Why don't you write for your, for my side?" So I go, "Ah, okay, yeah. Because I lost the pop culture guy. Mm. Uh, I don't I don't have anyone writing about pop culture and stuff. Mm. So yeah, I didn't even know. Uh, I had no idea at that time that that guy was you. So, 
<laughs> lost the guy. guy was... Actually, here's the backstory for that eh. Post the remo, eh, of course, um, daming, and of course, and daming naghahanap sa akin at that time, not just to hit me in the face, but to also to, ano, to bring me to a house that we, uh, that cares and, uh, and dearly for everyone, ano. Kasi, um, etong taong to, the, the guy, this guy I'm, speak, I'm speaking with, uh, me, basically, uh, notorious ako dyan sa community as the one who tries to make sense of things, pero mas notorious yung kasama ko si Al. <laughs> pero we, we've gone, we've gone to separate ways, uh, and that, that's fine, everything's fine, uh, uh, according to Nerve Gods in, in Seven, all's right with the world. Uh, yun nga, no? and then, uh, ito, yun, yun nga, nabanggit ko nga na, I was writing for Back to Gaming before, and tinulungan ako ni Boss Mac for that, and uh, uh, I'm ghostwriting as a certain uh, a guide there who writes anime reviews. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh yeah. yeah. I think nandun pa yata yung reviews on the site, I think so. Uh, I, may uh, be com- I may be coming back there, siguro ano, but if I just find, I, I haven't watched anime for like how many months, and the latest anime that I've watched is so, uh, yeah, a place further than the universe. I want to finish that. I haven't finished any single anime series this season. I'm stalled. <laughs> the last anime I watched, which was like uh, January yata, was... Uh, well, this is an old one. It's Fate Apocrypha. Mm. So, is the, I'm not uh, yeah, sure yeah, if I'm yeah. going to watch uh, mm. Fate Extella. I'm sort of parang late na sa Fate scenes. No, but, well, good uh, for you. You watch Fate Apocrypha and Fate Extella. I started with the Fate franchise with... I don't know. Carnival Phantasm? Prisma Ilya? <laughs> Actually, yung mga side stories na yun, hindi ko pa alam yun. Mm. Ano, alam ko lang is yung mga anime, like, like yung, ano, ang first ano ko is not the original, but the Unlimited Blade Works uh, version ng, ng story. And then, um, I went to Fate Zero, mm. and then Apocrypha, and then, mm. which Apocrypha is a different continuity. And then, Extella, which is, also another continuity then. Parang ang gulo mm. niya. Pero I was there for the noble phantasms, you know. I'm there for the for the sword fights. Kasi ang ganda and it's uh yeah, you know, it's what I missed about. Kasi most animes right now, uh, in my 36 year old sensibilities, mm. hindi ko na siya matake. Eh. Parang hindi uh, either hindi ko siya magets or it's too over the top for me. Parang nalipasan na siya. Para di ba? Uh, um, every one of us who's been following pop culture, there are things naman talaga na you, you grow uh, out from eh. Na outgrow mo na siya. So, yeah, I, I, I outgrew anime. Um, probably not Yoruni Kenshin and the, the, the stuff that I watched when I was a kid. But most of them, wala na. If it's not Gundam, I'd probably not watch it. But I wanted to kasi yung mga kasama ko sa mga events sa ML48, all of them know these things. And I was like, Okay. <laughs> and I was like, um, lahat sila nagsasalita, and ako parang, uh, ano daw yun? Anong reference to? Kasi di ba, there were me- members uh, in ML48 who were also animal fans, di ba? Hmm. And so, we have we have Faith, we have Kay, and there, there's some, there's some things doing stuff that they're referencing an anime or magpo-post sila sa IG stories nila. And I'm like, I have to Google this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I have to I have to go to Google and then ah, ano yung sinabi ni Kaya? Okay, ah, okay, fine. If it's a video game, mas updated ako, of course. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's still my thing. Sakuratai right Sen, right? Huh? Sakuratai Sen. Sorry? Sakura Wars. Um, Sakura Tais. Uh, I knew it was Sakura Wars, not Tai Sen. Oh, ah. See? How, how, how do you... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm so... I'm so rusty. Uh, I know, I'm beyond rusty. <laughs> Diba? And you're saying, <laughs> I'm, you're I'm, saying I'm, you're 36, you're saying you're 36, I'm just 24. God, senpai! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, uh, you were very, very young during the Alodio Wars. Oh, so, oh, oh, oh. I would I was say like we, 13, 14, 15, yeah, 15 so, 17. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you can excuse a lot of your behavior oh, oh. Uh, with your age. Oh, oh. Diba? Oh, oh. I was already an adult ba- uh, back then. So, um, I, I well, I did not do anything extreme, mm-hmm. you know? so there's nothing to be ex- to excuse about. Pero uh, ayon nga, at least uh, support support mo. You were young, you were very young, mm-hmm. diba? So, uh, pero yeah, I'm seeing a lot of old faces. Yeah, like Shopao Master. Shopao Master, diba? talaga, diba? <laughs> 
Hey, first time for the first time. I haven't seen him for a long time. I haven't seen him for a long time. Me too. And, and you know what's funny? Because it took me a long time to make the connection. Because people are talking like, si Shopao, si Shopao, si Shopao. Si Shopao. Okay, si nung Shopao to. So, parang, and I was looking at him and sabi ko, this guy looks familiar. <laughs> and sabi ko, this guy looks familiar. He must be featured in Gamer you... Toto. So that's it, why he's popular. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not... Um, um, we didn't know each other back mm. then, actually. Mm-hmm. We don't know each other personally. But, diba, um, kasi sumikat siya nun. So, he sort of palang, okay, show pa master. And, so, and then, you see him in the MNL48 lane. So, I go, holy shit. <laughs> Honey, is this a gathering of old uh, old fans? Uh, ko lang na lang actually, ma-convince ko si Boss Mac pumunta sa, sa isang event. But he's, very busy right now. So, mm. sabi ko sa kanya, kita ng ticket sa mama ka sa akin. Sabi ko, sabi ko kung, kung hindi siya busy and he's been going to places uh, and stuff. Tapos gumagawa pa siya ng mga uh, performance tests ng ano, ng PC Pulse. Oh, he's so, becoming a professor of performance testing. Dude, he treats it as a science. Diba? Diba? <laughs> yeah, he, he treats it as a science. Like, kaya siya yung inspiration ko. Kasi kahit yung PS4, yung he's he's a PC guy but he also owns a PS4. Mm. He also knows yung mga technology niya. He's parang okay, I'm the PC I'm the PS4 guy in the in the site and I don't even know half of what this guy is saying. Mm. So we go, yeah, that's it's cool. So yeah, yun yung minsan yung approach ko. I tried that approach then sa ML48 weekly which is actually tiring. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which is actually tiring. So I analyzing things is tiring to... if you're ano, really that that is boss map. Is he really invested in that? He even he even has a studio nowadays. Well, actually, uh ako kasi sa ML48 weekly, invested ako. Mm. Nag, na, pero through that blog, naging sobrang invested din ako sa group. Mm-hmm. You know? So it's difficult if you're analyzing something and you're parang parang oh, okay, you you don't like what you see. Mm. But you know, parang you, you sort of, you don't, um, nakukuha mo in general picture of what's happening and why this decision was made. But as a fan, you don't like it. Mm. You don't necessarily have to like it. So, you know what, you parang nag, naglalaban yung dalawang, dalawang personas ko sa, uh, ano, so weekly, uh, most of the time. Yeah, sabi ko, re- recently, sabi ko, I, I'd probably do a bit more philosophical, a bit more reflective na lang dun sa mga posts ko. Kasi, it takes a lot out of you. Mm-hmm. Right? Totoo, totoo. It takes a lot out of you, especially right now. So situ- situation of fandom, it's it's pretty. In Twitter, it's a shitstorm, and um, and generally, di ba parang major negative yung vibe right now. So parang yes. it weighs on you. Mm-hmm. It, it weighs on you a lot. And you know, minsan ang ginagawa ko nila when I'm writing, um, meron ako ng photo book ng ML48, right? Ah, yeah, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, meron akong photocards nung Oshiman ko, which is uh, Ishiyama Kaide, Kaide Ishiyama, so mm. CK. Binubuksan ko na lang doon sa photocards, ito initignan ko. So, I'm, I'm, I'm getting inspiration na lang kasi there are times talaga na parang down na down ka or mm-hmm. times na, you know, parang, what am I doing this? <laughs> Alam mo, I, 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 I remember, I suddenly remember this Spider-Man meme or is that the Wolverine meme where Wolverine looks at the picture, is cherishing it a lot and then you see the picture, it's a uh, picture of something, anything. Mm-hmm. Parang ganun it's, eh. Uh, it's actually, uh, may, alam pa yung meme na yan. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know where it came from? It came from an episode of the uh, the Uncanny X-Men um, cartoon series mm-hmm. noong 90s. Mm. Uh, si Morph yan yung nasa picture si Morph kasi doon sa series best friend niya si Morph Mm-mm. and Morph um, para, was parang died in some mission or, or na, na, na left behind siya mm. and Wolverine was like looking at the picture of Morph kasi friend, friend sila parang best friend sila so parang yun ang, it's knowing at him uh, yun yung pagkakalaro yeah I think that's where it came from I knew that because I watched the episode as a child <laughs> So, when, so, pag nakikita ko yung meme na yun, sabi ko, okay. Minsan nakikita ko, okay, walang context. <laughs> mm. Okay, iba yung context. Mm. Pero y- yun, yeah, but that's also what, in, in, what comes to mind. Mm. Yeah, a lot of times uh, with what is happening, parang sabi ko, minsan nisip ko, bahala na lang kayo. Mm. Pero when I look at my Oshiman, and also I see the photo cards of the other members, 
and I look at their IG stories, and nakita mo di ba? They're trying their their best to to bring in good vibes. Mm. Basically, basically the essence of being an idol, di ba? Is to is to give you good vibes. Yes. And then sabi ko, okay, so yeah, I'm going to walk, write. I'm going to continue to write, and you know, try to be positive about it. Mm. And that's the story of how ML48 Weekly came to be and where it's going on. And we will be proceeding with the second part of this episode on episode 39. Kasi ang, ito napahaba discussion natin eh. This conversation mm. goes for like, this podcast goes for like 30 minutes. And we went back from the rabbit hole. To, I mean, we went to, <laughs> we went back to the rabbit hole and came back, came out as, okay, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Ganun eh. <laughs> Some were confused eh. So, hindi pa to yung pinaka episode natin. This is more of like a nostalgia episode. Uh, probably mm-hmm. i-release ko to uh, as soon as possible. Like, like ano kasi it's, I think uh, we're okay with all of these things. Eh. Of course, uh, 12 Circles, mm-hmm. The Big Ten Baby. And yung mga previous years names ko. And I've been doing podcasting for like um, kap- kasagsagan ng Maydolls. 2010? Mm-hmm. 20, 2010, Maydolls. 2011. Maydolls Cafe. The one in Kainta. Jesus, that's a name I haven't heard of in a long time. I wasn't able to go there. Yeah, I was I was planning to go there, but it's kind time. It's like it's yeah. literally the other side of the world for me. So parang mm. and, 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 and Well, and, uh, on my mm, on my end, I was able to get there because malapit lang siya sa high school. Now where was where I was at? Public high school student turning into podcasting at like age fourteen. No wait, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I think those are the good times, really. Ayan, so that that was very um, notable for the time. Actually, right now you've seen younger people doing podcasts and mm. stuff. But no, no time. You know, when we started doing it, that's 2010. Uh, that young, hindi pagkainan kara kara may nagko podcast yeah. uh, at that age. So mm. yeah, you, you've accomplished something, I guess. <laughs> and those were the times, because first recording. First few recordings, Rhea Ayunan, Maydolls. And I miss Rhea. I miss Rhea Ayunan, Manager San. Ayan. Uh-huh. Hmm. So yeah, after we go to this whole uh, plethora of Tito conversations, Tito-style conversations, <laughs> All right. uh, we will go now to the real deal, which is episode 39. Uh, yeah, okay. next episode, we're going to really talk about ML48. Promise yan. That wraps up another episode of Keepsakes, the podcast. New episodes can be heard on anchor.fm slash keepsakes, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. You can follow me on Twitter at jagonoy. More updates will be posted on facebook.com slash keepsakes by J. Leave your voice messages using the Anchor app available on Google Play and the App Store. Shout out to Lee Rose Bear for the music. Thank you for listening to the podcast and I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.